powerful energy that is streaming into our planet. So we've been leading up to this all of 2020, but it's actually more than 2020. We've actually been preparing for this moment since 2012. That's right, we've been preparing for this for eight years, but it's actually been much longer than that. And so with the Mayan forecasting, with the calendar, they said that this the shift, the start of the Aquarian age was going to be in 2012. And now the way that a lot of these calendar systems work is that time is measured in cycles. So if it, eight years later and a lot of these time cycles happen in eight years so eight years later we have 2020 and we are starting the age of Aquarius we are entering the age of Aquarius again we've been starting that since 2012 since the shift but again now we are going to the second phase of this and that's why like 2020 has been such a transformative year and this month is really the most powerful month that we've had all year it's all been leading up to this and so in this video i'm going to share with you what is going to happen in December? We have the solar eclipse, we have the solstice, and we have the great conjunction all happening within one week of each other. So the the energy is just absolutely crazy and you really, really have to work with this energy because this is the great awakening. Like it's happening before our eyes the matrix is collapsing and our evolution of consciousness is happening right now. And just know that you are here for a very special reason. Uh, what's happening right now is we are ending a, tw a 26,000 year old cycle. 26,000 years is a really long time. And in order for you to reincarnate during this birth of this golden age, during the birth of the age of Aquarius, of this new earth, of this fifth dimensional earth, it takes a lot to be born here. So just know that you're special and you were chosen to reincarnate here and to help the earth ascend, okay? And so, this month is really really going to to be really setting us up for this amazing transition that we're experiencing again this is a once in a lifetime experience um for so many different reasons that i'm going to talk about and i'm also going to share with you manifesting techniques that you can use for the solar eclipse that we have on December 14th. And then also I'm gonna talk about how the solar eclipse is connected to the solstice on December 21st. And on December 21st, we also have the great conjunction. So it's just so, so, so much happening. And I'm so excited um, that we are literally seeing the earth transition and transform right before our eyes. I am so, so, so excited for this. So let me know how you're feeling. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling this energy. We've already been starting to get activated because we just had the eclipse on November 30th. So we had a full moon eclipse. And now we're going to be having a solar eclipse with a new moon. Okay, so um, let me know how you're feeling. I'm sure uh, uh, like you're feeling very anxious. And a lot of this anxiety is happening because of the solar flares that we are getting as well. So we're getting hit by solar flares. The Earth's frequency, the, the Earth, just like you have a heartbeat, Mother Earth also has a heartbeat. So the heartbeat of Mother Earth is called the Schumann Resonance. And the Schumann Resonance has been so intense these past few days. So just like um, we have our, our, our heart affects our energy field, we can feel the Earth's heartbeat as well. And so usually the Earth's heartbeat beats around 7.83 hertz. But it, just a few days ago on December 7th, it reached over 40 hertz. That's six times what it's normally um, resonating at. So that is why you're feeling anxious. You're probably getting ear ringing too and get probably feeling very thirsty, maybe getting headaches. All of these are signs that you are feeling this ascension process, all of these activations that are happening. So let's say Take a deep breath and you know really focus on integrating these activations because what happens is we really have to prepare for what's coming i mean we're in the middle of it we are in the middle of eclipse season and right now we're getting prepared for the massive shift that's hap that's going to happen on december 21st and a lot of that energy is also still streaming in so val is saying that she's feeling very tired that is um the effects of the eclipses the eclipses it's the eclipses when you think about it it's like the sun is hiding 
hiding the moon or the moon is hiding the sun. And what does that mean? It's a time for hibernation, you know, to go within. And so if you're feeling very tired, know that that's very normal. I've been sleeping uh, nine to 10 hours for the past three weeks. Okay, also, can you guys let me know in the chat, please? Uh, is the music okay? Can you guys, is the music too loud? Is it good? Let me know. Um, just gonna drink some water. So something I started to do as I started uh, I started doing this again. I started placing crystals in my I started placing crystals in my water again. I have a Chris, um, I have a video on YouTube that teaches you how to make crystal water um, for healing. So I'll I'll add that in the description of this video. Hey Annette, it's good to see you. So I have never drank so much water in my life before, and. It's really like this, this, this intense energy that's coming. So what's happening is our dormant DNA is getting activated right now with the solar flares, with the portals that are opening up. So portals, what are portals? Portals are exactly what they sound like. It's like these energy streams are opening up and new, fl new streams of, of information, new streams of energy are coming into our planet. So what is this new energy doing? It's, act it's actually activating our dormant DNA. The sun is, all the solar flares are also doing this. This is proven by science. Um, there's an, a biologist, his name is Irwin, um, and he wrote in the Scientific American in 2012, he published an article saying that junk DNA is not actually junk DNA, it's, it has hidden treasures. And that's what's getting activated right now, junk DNA. And again, this whole ascension process, again, it's very connected to the science and it's connected to spirituality. And it's uniting the two just like they did in Atlantis. So we're really returning back to Atlantis and we're bringing back this consciousness and that's why I'm saying it took 26,000 years to get to where we are today so you know just really relish in this present moment and that this gift that we have um, so let's jump into what's gonna happen all of this amazing month okay so the reason why you're feeling tired and fatigued and stressed and maybe fr frustrated and also very anxious is because of the eclipses okay we had a sol uh, a lunar eclipse on the 30th of november and now we're ha going to have a solar eclipse on december 14th okay solar eclipses are times for you to manifest okay and what's happening is there's this portal being created between the solar eclipse and the winter solstice and the great conjunction okay so solstice is basically when we change seasons and then the great conjunction is this um really rare event it only happens every 20 years where saturn and jupiter meet in in the same sign and so saturn and jupiter will be meeting in aquarius right so that's why we're starting this aquarian age um and the most amazing part about this is that uh, Jupiter and Saturn have not met in not have not met in an air sign in 200 years so it's been 200 years since we've been having this alignment of these two planets and guess what Saturn and Jupiter are the biggest planets in our galaxy so this is going to have huge effects on us and um, it's going to set the tone for the next 200 years, but we're also starting to work towards starting this new 26,000 year old cycle. So right now we are starting this new 26,000 year old cycle. And that's why we see so much of our uh, structures of the systems, like our political, our economic, our social systems they are being transformed right now because we are really shifting into a new paradigm and again just all you have to do is look at the science and look all around you i mean look how much our world has changed in just one year i guarantee that in five years from now when we're already manifesting like the tangible structures of the fifth dimension on our planet this world is going to be completely different we're going to look back at 2020 2021 we're going to be like whoa this is a completely different world so 
you know, these, these are such incredible times that we're in. I'm just going to lower this a little bit so I can uh, see you guys better. <laughs> hey, Sydney. Hey, Alexis. Okay, so... <laughs> There's just so much transformation. And again, guess what? You already knew that all of this was going to happen before you reincarnated. And also it's very rare to reincarnate in a human body right now um, because what is happening is we're having this once in a lifetime experience where we are seeing this great conjunction, but it's happening on the same day as the solstice. The solstice are super powerful windows very powerful portals. That's why our ancestors all over the world created pyramids, created um, stone circles, labyrinths. They created so many sacred sites during the solstice um, to celebrate this powerful um, energy and this event that streams into our planet. Okay, so that's why this is going to be very, very powerful. Um, all the ascension symptoms that we mentioned, they're going to intensify during these next two weeks, okay? So what's basically going to happen between the solar eclipse on December 14th and on t and, 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 and it's not like the window is going to close on December 21st, but that's sort of like the peak. And of course, the portal is still going to stay open. Um, but what's going to happen during this time window, it's this portal is going to open up. And so this was a message that I got um, in my meditation. So I got a message that the timelines are now collapsing and they're merging. So let's just just take a moment here okay just take a moment and to really step away from your what we think we know about time and just know that there are the past the present and the future are happening at the exact same time so what's happening between december 14th and december 21st and again a few days afterwards is the timelines are going to merge and collapse together what does this mean it means that we now are empowered to choose the timeline that we want to exist on. So even though, the, let's say, the collective, the masses are living in a third dimension um, that's, that's um, fueled by fear, by control, by greed, by hate, by violence, we can still resonate at the fifth dimension. And also, like the more that we resonate at these higher frequencies frequencies where we are aligned with our soul's highest purpose where we are fulfilled when we are authentically ourselves when we step into our power and embrace our sovereignty as divine beings the more that we do that the more that we will shine and help the people who are resonating at you know stuck in the matrix you know just literally think about night the movie from uh when was it 1999 the matrix uh what honey when was the matrix made <laughs> the movie with keanu reeves so just think about that and like that's literally what we're seeing happen like so we're all keanu reeves and we are all neos and we are literally shifting and then that's what this time window is about it's about choosing which timeline you want to live in okay so um yes yeah, someone asked emily that's a great question emily asked will it be more easy to shift reality yes we are going to be able to manifest so quickly like this so Okay, let me talk a little bit about Atlantis. So Atlantis um, resonated on the fifth dimension. Atlantis was this really advanced society. It was advanced in terms of its social structures. It was very harmonious. People live in abundance, you know, in, in, in harmony. And then it was also very technologically advanced. Okay, so they had they had a very technologically advanced as well as a socially advanced and spiritually advanced so it was very it was very balanced right as opposed to now yes we're technologically advanced but we're not socially ba balanced okay so in atlantis they could manifest like this so i could manifest if i could think about a gold cube I could manifest it immediately and that's because when you're resonating on the fifth dimension you are now resonating in a different reality in a diff where the laws of physics work differently so time is actually faster and so um not just that time is faster but time just works differently 
okay? And the laws of matter also work differently. So it's more flexible, okay? And so what we're going to be able to do now is we're going to be able to manifest faster. And so that's why between this time window of December 14th and December 21st, you really have to focus on what you're thinking about because you're going to be manifesting so quickly. I guarantee it, you're gonna manifest so quickly. So you have to be very aware and mindful about what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're saying, because that will manifest faster, okay? So the solar eclipse on December 14th, that is sort of like a reset button, okay? It's like, imagine if we're watching The Matrix, right, with Neo, um, and so like the reset button gets hit. Imagine life is a game, okay? And, and the reset button is getting hit, and then like society, like, the timelines are going to reset, which means that you now have the ability to choose your future, choose whichever potential you want to choose in. And of course we want like this, it, it's a little bit difficult to explain this because there are so many different layers to this. Okay. So as I'm explaining this, I mean, you're going to have to watch this video again for it to really sink in okay but there's just so many layers that are happening right now before we were living in a in a in a duality world okay where it's like good versus bad light versus dark right duality good versus evil okay and so that's how we were evolving as a human species but now also as a galaxy as as a universe that's how we were evolving even the ets the extraterrestrials they also don't have all higher vibrations okay so that's why you have the good ets and the bad ets okay but now we are no longer going to be playing by this universal law of duality of these polar opposites now we are going to be evolving in an expansive state think about the universe the universe is expanding constantly right and that's how we're going to be functioning in the age of aquarius in this new golden age that we are entering so let me just let that sink in for you i'm gonna drink some water i'm literally so thirsty And I'll put that video of how to make uh, crystal water in the link in this description. Okay, so hey to you guys on, on Instagram. So join us on YouTube Live. Click the link in my bio um, and join us on YouTube Live. Okay, see you soon. Okay, perfect. So um, what's going to happen, okay? So now we're expanding. Okay, think about your eye. If you look inside of your eye, your eye, your iris, it actually looks like a nebula. It, and, and then when we look at our DNA, the DNA also looks like the nebulas from space. So we are just an extension of space. We are the stars observing themselves. Okay, we are the universe observing itself because when a star explodes, there are five elements that are released. And those exact same elements are the elements that make up everything inside of our bodies, okay? So it's sort of like, you know, we're really shifting as a, as a universe. And what's so beautiful about this is that we no longer have to live in the world where hate, where greed, where violence, where fear have to exist. No, now we're moving out of that and we're moving into a more expansive world, okay? And expansive, I mean expansive as in we're going to be traveling to other planets. Um, and it's so fascinating because I think just yesterday or today, um, the former Israeli space um, director, um, he was saying that Donald Trump knows about aliens and that they exist. And so it's just so fascinating, right? That now finally disclosure is happening on a bigger scale. So this guy, he's, he's a former Israeli um, space minister. And so he... Um, he's 83 years old, so you see he was like, I have nothing left to lose, and he said it. And he's the second guy in a high position as a politician to say that. Um, there's the former defense minister of Canada back in 2011, and think about it. Oh my gosh, I literally, I didn't even think about this. Okay, so in 2011, um, it was 2011 or 2012, you can watch the video on YouTube, the former defense minister of Canada testified in a house committee meeting um, in 
in Congress. So he, the former defense minister of Canada, went to Congress in the U.S. and he he said that the U.S. government is exchanging technology with the tall whites, and that already four, three different species of uh, of ETs have been visiting our 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 um our planet and we and the u.s army has been exchanging technology u.s not sorry not u.s army u.s air force has been exchanging technology with them okay so that just happened right before 2012 or on 2012 and now look what's happening now the former defense minister of, of israel is saying the same thing how fascinating is this you know again this shift started in 2012 with the mayan calendar and the media was like Oh, the Mayans are saying that the world's going to end. That's not what they said at all. The Mayan calendar also, um, let me add some nuance into this. There is not one Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar was, the Mayan empire was massive. So there were many different um, ethnic groups and tribes within the Mayan empire. And so they each had their own different calendar systems. So there are many Mayan calendars okay but the mayan calendar what it was saying is that um we 2012 was the age zero it was like the year zero and from 2012 and i think it's until um i'm doing my math in my head right now until 2032 uh so 2012 until 2032 that is when it's the zero point so, so we're humanity and our planet is getting reset um, to enter this golden age. Okay, so it's not that the world is going to be ending in 2012 or 2020. It's just that right now we are ending uh, the dark ages. We are ending this old paradigm, this old structures that we've been living in. And now we're entering the age of Aquarius, the golden age. And so there's just oh, so much happening right now and so many synchronicities. So my number one tip for you guys is to write down, like even during this live, like write down anything that is really like resonating with you and then go research it. Or the better, the best way, my favorite way to research is in my meditations because we all have our own spiritual Google. Just like I'm a channel, I'm a channeler, you are also a channel. Okay, all you have to do is go into a meditation and then connect, um, ask a question, and you're going to get answers. Again, now we are having access to more of our subconscious mind. Um, usually, we only have one to five percent access to our uh, to our conscious mind, but now that's going to grow more, and we're going to have access to a hundred percent of our brain. So imagine what your life is going to be like when you have 100% of your brain. And that's what's happening right now with this whole shift, with this whole ascension process. Yes, it's spiritual, but it's also physical, right? That's why you're feeling tingles. That's why you're getting earring. That's why you're getting headaches. That's why you're feeling so thirsty because this is also a physical change where our DNA is changing and we're getting to access a lot of our subconscious mind. Okay, so Donna, you're seeing 222 a lot. I made a post about that, so go check out our Instagram. I made a whole post about that, okay? Two is the number of balance, and that's what this, um, what that's what we're entering, okay? Let me talk about the great conjunction, okay? Because I this is the number one topic that everyone has been messaging me about, like literally the number one thing, okay? So what is the great conjunction? Again, it's when Saturn and Jupiter, the two biggest planets in our galaxy, they are going to be meeting in the same sign and they're going to be meeting in Aquarius. That's why right now we're birthing the Aquarian age. And the amazing part about this is that these two big planets, they are going to be meeting at exactly zero degrees. So zero in numerology, it represents infinity. It represents infinite possibilities and potential. And that is exactly what we're being set up for. Okay, again, I told you the reset is going to happen on the solar eclipse on December 14th and on December 21st with this great conjunction. That's where like, okay, let's go. Let's like start building this new life. Let's start building this new dimension. Let's start building this new golden age, this new earth this new era so we're really birthing a new era okay and so this is ha it's very rare for this to happen at zero degrees actually um 
Jupiter and Saturn have not, they're gonna be super close. They have not been this close um, in 397 years. And so it's been 397 years since we've seen them so close together. And when we at, look at the numerology in that, what's three plus nine? Three plus nine is 12. Um, what's, tw what's 12 plus seven, All right, right? 397, what's three plus seven? Um, 12 plus seven, it's 19. One plus nine is one, 10, right? And one plus zero is one. So in numerology, you always reduce down to one digit unless it's a master number. So again, there we see one. Okay, there's so much numerology behind this. Of course, there's the amazing astrology behind this, but the numerology is, is just as fascinating. So one represents new beginnings. It represents leadership. And this is why you have been chosen. You're watching this video for a reason. You are here to lead humanity, lead your family, lead your community into this new world where you are living authentically as yourself, you're living in abundance, you're living in harmony, and and that is what we're here to create, okay? And so um, that's one aspect of the numerology. What other, what other The other thing that was really mind-blowing for me is that Saturn and Jupiter, they're going to be meeting at zero degrees Aquarius um, at 29 minutes. So when we look at the numerology there, what's two plus nine? That's 11. And again, with these repeating numbers like 11, 22, 44, you don't reduce them to one digit. No, because these are master numbers. So 11 is the master number of awakening. It's spiritual awakening. So I know maybe like you're already, you have already spiritually awakened to the fact that you are more than just a body. You're made of light, you're made of energy and you're connected to so many divine beings around this universe. So maybe your parents haven't, you know, maybe your parents think you're weird, your friends think you're weird, your coworkers would freak out if they knew that you were talking about ETs and stuff like that. So that's, that's going to change, okay? Three years from now, if four years, five years from now, when we start talking about chakras, when we start talking about energy, it's going to be a common phrase. Like people talk about the iPhone, we're gonna talk about the third eye, okay? So everyone is going to start um, awakening as well. So one thing that I haven't mentioned is because these two planets um, are meeting in an air sign for the first time in 200 years, um, time is going to speed up, okay? Because this this conjunction, it usually was was happening for the past 200 years in Earth signs. That's why we've, we've seen a lot of advancement um, in in material uh, in in the material world, right? Like now. Um, everyone has a smartphone, you know, uh, everyone has access to each other um, via roads, via cars, they're more accessible, right? So we've made a lot of advancements materially, but now we're going to be having more advancements in the mind and in the heart. And so that's what, that is the key part of this Aquarian age. And also time is going to speed up um, because Saturn governs time. Also air is a very fast uh, moving um, element. And so time is going to speed up. Uh, and it's, we've already seen that happen in 2020, okay? So you've, you, if you guys have been following me for a while, like you know I'm always talking about the 4-4 portal, the um, Lion's Gateway, the Syrian portal. I've been talking about the Halloween portal that we've had this year. But having all of these portals, it's not common. It's not normal to have so many portals. But the reason why we are having so many portals in 2020 is because we are being led up to this present moment now with this great shift. So <laughs> just know that having these many portals is not normal, um, but it's also a sign and it's showing us that we are really moving very quickly in this ascension process. So before it would take us a lot of time to get to where we are, um, like that's what I'm saying, in three years and five years from now, you are gonna have conversations with your coworkers, with your parents about chakras, because it's gonna be something, it's gonna be common, right? Because 
this information, this wisdom, it's more than information, it's really wisdom is going to spread faster. Um, and the timelines are going to get faster. More, th We're going to be progressing and evolving at super fast rates. That's why you're having those changes in your body with the headaches, with the ear ringings, because your body is changing very quickly. That's why you're very, feeling very tired. So it's important for you to rest. It's important for you to ground, okay? Those are my number like three tips tips yes i yeah yes uh savvy um that's why you're feeling tired because this is literally changing your body so my number like my number one tip for for this whole like portal that's opening up right now is to ground okay imagine like there's so many solar flares coming into our planet there's so many activations so much information so much new energy coming in so you have to ground that energy into your physical body so that it doesn't dissipate, okay? If you do not ground the activations, then they're not gonna stay in your body. Also, it's gonna cause anxiety because it's just so overwhelming for your body. Someone asked, how do you ground? That's a great question. You can ground with crystals, okay? Um, let me okay so crystals are a great way to ground but you want to make sure you get black gray or red crystals so hold these crystals put them in your pocket over the next uh, like literally the next three weeks um, just put them in your pockets um, always have them with you okay this is black tourmaline um, any black or red crystal will help you to ground or brown crystals as well um, like bronzite okay so also this reminds me um so we had a, a giveaway so we, we we activated these pyramids um at mount shasta which is the root chakra of mother earth and we did a ceremony with the star seeds there and so we were doing a giveaway that someone would win an amethyst activated pyramid and so the winner is devra freed so devra freed please um, email us or send us a DM on Instagram. And so just let email us. So you have one week to claim um, your pyramid. So congratulations. And so if, if you, um, if, if, if she doesn't reach out in a week, then we're going to choose somebody, somebody else. Okay. Also, I think we should do another giveaway just because there's so much like happening. Um, and again, Jupiter is the planet of abundance, so we're gonna give an, away another crystal. So once we reach 7,777 subscribers on YouTube, we're gonna give away another activated crystal that we used in our ceremonies in Mount Shasta. So these are super beautiful and they're very and they're activated and they're blessed. Um, so all you have to do is subscribe and comment, um, and that will enter you uh, to win to win a pyramid. Okay, so how else do you ground okay so you ground by and i'm gonna give you guys manifesting tips so stick around okay um i'm gonna give you manifesting tips for the solar eclipse okay which is happening on monday so how else do you ground exercise exercising is so important oh it's 11 11 in brazil <laughs> Que lindo, eu adoro Brasil. Oi. Um, it's 111 somewhere else. I love that. And again, you look at all of these synchronicities that are happening. One is the number of new beginnings, it's also the number of leadership. So I'm sure you guys will be seeing 1111, 222, 444 a lot over these next few days. 911 is the number of the light warriors. So that's what 911 represents. So I love that all of you guys are seeing that on the East Coast. Is 311 in Nigeria? Oh, thank you so Is it is it PM or AM in Nigeria? I'm curious. Um probably AM, right? Um okay, thanks for subscribing Jessica. I appreciate that. Um okay, so how else do you ground? Um you ground by exercising. I recommend doing yoga. I recommend doing the Tibet, five Tibetan rites. I recommend dancing, um, Pilates, hiking, anything that like really resonates with you. And it has to be an exercise that you enjoy because when you exercise, you're sort of bringing that excessive energy 
and you're burning it off but also it's not like you're burning it off you're just rearranging it you're sending the energy into different places okay so definitely exercise over these next few days hold your crystals i also one of the easiest ways and best ways to ground is just put your bare feet on mother earth um, and that'll help you to ground so spend a lot of time in nature breathe with the earth do some meditations we have a root chakra activation i'll add it in the description of this video and that will help you to ground as well okay so that's my number one tip for this portal is to ground okay my other tip is to really reflect reflect on everything that you've been holding on to uh, because like i said on December 14th, we have a reset. So it's like we're having another opportunity to completely like reset for, for this new chapter that's coming up. So uh, what is the best way to reflect? So I would recommend that you pay attention to any triggers that are happening, anything that annoys you, anything that frustrates you, anything that gets you angry, write that down. Um, and whenever you get those triggers, just reflect. Well, like, why is this upsetting me? Why does? Why don't I like this? Okay, so just folk, uh, sort of like reflect on that, and then also that's that's called uh, self inquiry. So self inquiry is an amazing practice. And then I would recommend that you meditate. So just meditate on what are the blocks that you're holding on to. What are the things that uh, you know you're having trouble letting go of? And we actually did a meditation for the uh, lunar eclipse, a group meditation where we connected with our higher selves and we released our, our hidden blocks so you guys can um, find the meditation in the description of this video i'll put it there it's a meditation to release your hidden blocks okay um so that's what i would recommend to do is just really reflect on all the things that are holding you back because as we are entering this reset time you need to make sure you're entering this like with an empty cup so that you're ready to receive the new energies flowing in and you're ready to receive like um the abundance that's going to be flowing in because saturn is the is the lord of karma and and saturn governs structure and it's and it's very like it's it's very disciplined but jupiter jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance okay so there's going to be so much abundance waiting the thing is that you will only be able to take advantage and leverage that abundance and really be able to embrace it once you let go of all the all the baggage that you're holding on to okay so definitely reflect and release that's number one and then um really focus on like then this is what jupiter is really tr encouraging us to do jupiter is encouraging us to dream big so as you're manifesting for the solar eclipse um and we're going to be having a solar eclipse manifesting meditation on december 14th for the eclipse it's also a new moon so you have that new moon energy as well um, and i'll share more tips about manifesting in a little bit but um we're going to be having a manifesting meditation if you guys want to join that i'll add um um, my team will add the link in the in the chat or um, we'll add in the description of this video okay um, so that's what you want to do you want to really leverage this Jupiter energy about expansion you want to make sure that you're not dreaming small because Jupiter again these two planets are the largest planets in our galaxy so you really want to expand your dreams like everything that you think you want in the like right now let's just do an exercise together okay so let me know in the chat let me know in the comments what's something that you want to manifest in the next year in the next 12 months let me know in the chat and let me know in the comments what what do you want to manifest in the next 12 years okay um tw sorry 12 months <laughs> okay jb is saying millionaire okay so jb i'm gonna i'm gonna challenge you okay uh someone said someone's manifesting their first album and a bill and a millionaire okay i'm going to challenge you because jupiter is all about expansion and again we're entering a new age where we need to let go of all the limitations of what we think is possible so i'm going to challenge both of you okay don't manifest a million dollars i want you to manifest a hundred million dollars and i want you to manifest that like you really believe like you're going to get it because let's say even if you don't get the hundred million dollars you would end up with 
with $50 million when you're only, when you only want 1 million, you know? So I want you to like really push your manifestations um, and really just push past your limits and all the like human limitations, right? Someone said, I want to put out my first album. No, I want you to manifest that you're going to put out like a, a plat three platinum albums, like manifest that you're going to put out three platinum albums that are going to be number one on the charts, like all of them, all the songs. And like, again, this is how you have to manifest. And usually we don't manifest like this, um, but because we're, this is a very special portal with um, the eclipse and the solstice, you have to manifest like times a hundred. So everything that you want, uh, everything that you want to create and attract into your life, times a hundred that, okay? So all of you guys, um, like do that okay like that is the key t to manifesting for this for for this um for for this eclipse okay i love what everyone is is writing kj say i want to be a best-selling author well i want you to manifest that you're going to be uh 10 times best-selling author and there are already people who have done that there are people who have written 12 best-selling books right why don't you do that as well why don't you manifest it you know really again use this jupiter energy to push yourself out there thank you someone just said you have um 44.4k followers on instagram i love that again like you know all of this alignment is just so powerful um so really every time you see an angel number just give gratitude and four is all about foundations and that's what i'm trying to share with you guys you know grounding is your foundation okay and like that's what you should be focusing on right now before the eclipse happens on the 14th focus on setting your strong foundations and letting go of all the crap all the self-doubt that you have like get rid of it you don't need it it's all just bullshit okay all the all the limitations that you think i'm not good enough people are not gonna like this um everyone's doing it better than me that's bullshit and just throw it out okay it's not gonna serve you and it's no longer relevant we are starting a new era we're starting a new era where you get to play by your own rules, okay? So create the life that you want and you need to really believe and you need to bring out that power, okay? And that's what this is about. It's really about letting go of all that crap, letting go of the fears of what if I fail, letting go of all that and really just embracing the infinite possibilities. Again, this conjunction is happening at zero degrees. Do you know how rare that is? It's happening at zero degrees. The Mayans, like, thousands of years ago they said between 2012 and 2032 that was going to be the zero point of humanity so right now is when you get to birth a new version of yourself okay so like and also because uh jupe because saturn governs karma now is also the perfect time to get out of the karmic loops that you have been stuck in in your past lives the karmic vows the karmic contracts that you have been stuck in let go of those let go of your family's karmic lineage um and really like pulling ourselves out of those karmic games that we don't have to play in anymore okay again the rules of our universe are changing again we're moving from a duality um paradigm to an expansive paradigm okay so everything that you you feel like you were limited by i want you to throw that out into the garbage you know like do a ritual burn something i love burning things fire is my favorite okay i don't have a favorite element but fire is one of my favorite elements <laughs> uh, i have a lot of fire energy as you guys can tell okay so that's what i would recommend okay and uh bridget you don't cut the cords okay that's a mis big big misconception you do not cut the cords you have to burn the cords otherwise they will grow back okay and i'll add a link in the description of this video for a meditation that will help you to burn those those karmic contracts and vows and cords you know to to stuff in the in the past because when you when you do meditation today right let's say you're you're letting go of a karmic contract to be poor or to be a, a karmic contract um to poverty or to um not be able to have good relationships when you break that now it again like i said the past the present and the future are happening at the same time so that's why the, the work that you're doing right now 
it's going to affect your past and your present and your future. That's why it's so powerful, okay? And so a lot of this stuff that I'm sharing with you guys, like especially alchemy, it used to be very secretive. So back in ancient Egypt, um, in Kemet, when you when when only the priests and the priestesses and the pharaohs would have access to alchemy uh, because it was misused in Atlantis. And so why am I now being able to talk about alchemy? And so many other like uh, amazing teachers are talking about alchemy. Why? Because now we are birthing birthing another golden age now this is possible too yes aborigine cult, aboriginal culture too i mean they were like the first people who understood the aborigines uh our, the aboriginal people of australia were the among the first people on our planet to really understand their connection to the stars and to the planet. Um, and then there's also a prophecy that on December 21st, uh, Uluru is actually the solar plexus chakra of Mother Earth. And there's a, there's a prophecy that um, on December 21st, the Aboriginal people, they're going to be doing ceremonies to activate um, the energy grids in Uluru. And then so that's going to be so awesome. And I'm so excited for that. Um, so we'll ha I'll definitely be astral projecting there um, to, to support that beautiful light work. Okay, so let me see what else. Um, okay, so... Okay, I have to also talk about um, the, okay, let me talk about the manifesting tips. Okay, I, I told you guys that I was gonna be sharing some manifesting tips and um, so uh, Dakota, tips for astral projection. We're going to be having another astral projection class um, probably in March, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but you definitely all, one quick easy tip right now, always visualize that you are astral projecting inside of a pyramid just to keep out all distortion because the astral plane is also very distorted there's a lot of mixed energy there and you only want to make sure you interact with energy that's helpful um and that is you know um for your highest good because <laughs> you will see a lot of stuff out there okay so let's talk about manifesting tips for the solar eclipse okay so uh, for the solar eclipse again it's going to be uh, happening with the new moon and the sun and so it's so beautiful that we have this unique combination of divine feminine energy with the moon and de divine feminine energy it does not deal with sex or gender it relates to magnetic energy okay and then the the fire energy from the sun that's connected to the electric energy the divine masculine okay so it's not about gender or sex uh, because of our social constructs it's about the energy the electric energy and the magnetic energy okay so for this uh, for the solar eclipse we're going to be seeing these two energies mixed together and guess what you have divine feminine and masculine energy too so in order for you to really manifest you have to you manifest with your divine feminine and with your divine masculine energy together okay that's very 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 important in order for you to get the most um to manifest quickly and effectively okay and like i said uh because the timelines are speeding up uh and also because new streams of energy are coming into our planet also mother earth gaia is also ascending so the laws of physics are going to be changing um there's a lot of science already proving this i mean you guys can go check out the double slit experiment you can google it um or or put it up on youtube there's videos about the double slit experiment and i'll show you how um, we directly affect physical matter and the cia published a paper i think it was in 1989 about um how humans affect the physical world um, and we our intentions our consciousness affects matter and that is why we can manifest okay so to manifest with this with the solar eclipse you have to tune into your divine feminine energy okay and you have to unite it with your divine masculine okay so why is this so important it's also reflected with the saturn and jupiter conjunction okay I'm super thirsty, um, so let's all take a sip together. Cause I mean, even as we're sharing space together virtually, we're st we're like all activating each other right now. I love that Gilbert. Help a thousand people learn forex. 
Um, yeah, I mean, even in, in, in trading, in financial trading, you see the Fibonacci sequence. Um, so, you know, this stuff is present everywhere. Gilbert said, help college students pay their uh, debt. You know what I'm manifesting? I'm manifesting that debt be forgiven. Like it's just completely destroyed. Um, so maybe we'll have a collective meditation to do that. Um, okay, so, uh, okay. What was I, okay. We were talking about uh, Jupiter and Saturn conjunction and how it relates to manifesting. So Jupiter and Saturn are going to be very close together on the 21st and they are going to look like um one star okay they're going to look like one bright star in the cosmos so make sure on the 21st that um uh, from the 21st to the 25th of december go out outside and look at the stars and you're going to see this super bright star and that's going to be jupiter and saturn okay they're going to look like one star and again we see this pattern where these two things these two separate stars and planets are uniting together, just like the sun and the moon are gonna be uniting for the eclipse. And that is why you have to unite your divine masculine and your divine feminine energy. You have to unite the two, okay? That is what's, it's this age of Aquarius um, is all about um, uniting the divine masculine and feminine because the divine masculine has been really imbalanced. Uh, that's why we've been living in the dark ages because this energy is not balanced. And so with the divine, uh, with the Aquarian age, we really have to, this, this balance between these two energies is going to be naturally created. Okay. And so how can you tap how can you use your divine masculine and feminine energy to manifest? What you need to do is you need to tap into your divine feminine. As a society, as a whole, we have rejected the divine feminine energy uh, because we've been living in a masculine, uh, in, in a masculine, masculine energy paradigm. Okay, and so what you have to do is you have to um, tune into your, tune into your intuition okay tune into your emotions so uh what is that how do you manifest with that well the law of attraction it tells you to visualize right but the key is you have to really feel it so when you're manifesting really feel it um and so manifesting again the law of attraction is just half of the equation uh, you also need so the law of attraction based on its name it's all about attraction which is magnetic energy divine feminine energy but the second part of the equation is the divine masculine energy the electric energy so you can't just you can't just attract everything yes that's part of it but that's only half of it you also have to create it and attract it towards you so it's part of you know like surrendering and allowing it to come to you but also knowing when to act so that is when you use your divine feminine energy when you you sit and you just be and you surrender and that's where you get all your information okay so as you get your information you're gonna know exactly when to act and how to act and then that's when you use your divine masculine energy so divine masculine energy electric energy is all about action it's about creating so that's where you have to create you know you actually have to do stuff so you have to use your solar plexus so the solar plexus is a very important chakra to work with during this uh portal that's opening up okay so really like really really balance these two to surrender and just be and allow yourself to receive uh the 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 wisdom that that you need to get to in order to manifest to materialize your manifestations so one of the things that i talked about before was about um was about um we are all channels and we all have our own spiritual google okay so you just open up your spiritual google and and again you already know what you need to do so talking to the person who wanted to be a millionaire um talking to the person who wanted to have the platinum albums you already have the songs the lyrics the business plan the uh, you already have all of that it's sitting in your subconscious mind okay so what you need to do is you need to pull it out right you need to connect with your higher self 
and you need to get that information into your conscious mind. So how do you do that? You do that through meditation. You do that by surrendering. You do that by opening up your Wi-Fi, opening up your third eye, your intuition, and just allowing yourself in dreams and meditations and conversations um, in the shower to get that information, to know what lyrics you need to write, to know who you need to pitch the business plan to, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And then, then you actually have to write the song, right? You, actually, you, can't, you can't have three platinum albums without writing the songs. So there's where the electric energy, the divine masculine energy comes in, where you actually have to create things and you have to act. Okay, so that is the key to uniting the two energies together. And the difficult part about this, I mean, something that I really struggle with um, myself is like, we try to get the logical mind into this. You know, it's like, I want to write my first album, you know, but I, ch I challenge someone to think about how can you actually manifest three platinum albums instead? So the logical mind is going to come in and it's going to be like, no way, like, I don't even have one album out. How is it possible to have three platinum albums out? You know, that's what the logical mind is going to do. But think about Billie Eilish, right? <laughs> Billie Eilish at the Grammys, like, she was the youngest person there and she snagged all the awards right she snagged all the awards right and again this is where you have to let your logical mind let go and why was she able to do that because she tapped into her intuition into her emotions into that that passion and so again it's it's this really beautiful balance between the two where you don't allow yourself to just sit back and and you know wish and daydream that all these things happen so don't do that with a divine uh feminine energy and then with the divine masculine energy is like don't doubt don't over stress yourself about how you're going to make it happen because the answers are going to come from you sitting with the divine feminine energy okay so here's where you're going to get your answers and you give the answers to the electric energy and that's what manifests things okay so i also have nine other really amazing tips to help you to manifest you can find those tips um i'll add them in the description of this video actually i'll make it an end card so you're just gonna click like the little thing that pops up here i'll add it there nine manifesting tips for you guys to do um we are going to be having a manifesting ceremony on december 14th so that is on monday at 5 30 p.m pst um, and then honey is going to add the link um for for that ceremony um and and we're also going to have a ceremony for the winter solstice so can you add it to the chat please thank you um so we're also going to have a winter solstice uh sorry winter solstice is is in the northern hemisphere where winter solstice is when we have the most amount of darkness of night um and so in the southern he hemisphere it's actually summer solstice so when you have the longest day I actually got this tattoo on the winter solstice. Um, I got this tattoo on the winter solstice. I also didn't know, uh, I got this tattoo a few years ago and I did not know that it was the winter solstice. I only knew the day of when I was going to get it. Um, but it's just beautiful like yin and yang um, representation of the universe. Um, and again, really? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay so um you guys uh honey just told me i'm sideways so i don't know i think they can see me straight i don't, can you guys how does the panel how does the video look does the video look um can you guys see me or or is the video like turned <laughs> Okay, you look okay. You guys can see me. Okay, honey was freaking out. Uh, she's she scared me. She's like you look sideways <laughs> um, so uh, And again, you know, it's it's and this is what we have to learn to do is like to really not freak out and just to like surrender to to whatever the experience is because we don't know what's gonna happen uh, we don't know what something that may look wrong will actually look all right, like just this experience, right? And that's why I'm saying like, really release your doubts and your fears for this upcoming portal, because otherwise they're going to be magnified. And you imagine we're starting a 26,000 year old cycle. You want, thank you guys for letting me know that the, that the camera is all right. I appreciate that. Um, so as we're starting this new age, this 
as we're starting this golden age, um, this new earth, we really want to start it off on the highest note possible. And just remember that uh, there are no limits. Like, again, this is all happening at the zero point, at the void. So we really have to tune into those um to that infinite possibility and, and really believe and surrender to that it's so 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 important okay um so i hope to see you guys our ceremony it's going to be uh we'll add the links in the chat or in the description of this video or you can check it out on instagram in the link in our bio uh, so the ceremony is going to be a manifesting ceremony we're going to be doing and we've never done this before actually we've never done a fire and water alchemy ritual in one ceremony. So for this ceremony, I really wanna unite the two elements together and I really wanna unite the magnetic and electric energy and our divine feminine and our divine masculine energy. So in the ceremony, we're going to be doing an alchemy ritual with fire and water, okay? And, <laughs> and thank you so much, Victoria, I appreciate that. Um, so we're going to be uh, doing doing those two rituals and we're also going to be optimizing our manifestations because when you manifest in a group setting it makes your manifestations three times more powerful but because we're going to be doing an alchemy technique your manifestations are actually going to be six times more powerful um, so just check it out see if it resonates with you um, or if you end up just doing a manifestation on your own just grab a friend make sure you do it with someone else to really boost your manifestations okay and then we're going to be having a winter solstice uh, or just solstice in general because I want to be inclusive of the summer solstice as well um, for the southern hemisphere so we're going to be having a solstice ceremony on December 21st so that ceremony is going to be different we're also going to be doing um, we're also going to be manifesting but most importantly we're going to be really connecting with our soul and we're going to connect with our higher self so I'm going to give you guys an invocation so you can directly connect with your higher self and we're going to just align with our soul's highest vibration, our soul's most optimal path in this current reincarnation. And we will be doing a DNA activation during that ceremony on the 21st. So the two ceremonies are going to be different um, and they're going to be like both very special. So I hope to see you guys in those. Um, and then I'll also add uh, all the videos I described and I talked about in the in the tips of this or in the description of this video Okay, um, so I'm just gonna see if you guys have any questions. Oh, I love this. We have two 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 people on this uh, Live I love this so much and someone also asked why am I seeing two two two? so the reason why you're seeing 222 is because uh two and and i wrote that on the post on instagram like a few days ago two is a number of balance two is a number and 222 like three having three of those that's a master number so it's it's a master number of cooperation of communication of collaboration so two is a number of balance okay so if you're seeing 222 it means that you're aligned that like and you're going to be seeing 222 and 444 a lot so those numbers are the number, uh, 222 is a number of, of balance. So it's, if you're seeing that, that's a really great sign. It shows that you're aligned, okay? So I'm gonna see if you guys have any questions. Oh no, the chat disappeared. Okay, let me see. How do you know what each angel number means for you? Uh, you can sit with it and, and manifest. Uh, you can sit with it in meditation and ask. Oh, thank you, Lanai. Oh, I appreciate that. So much love, sis. Ways to balance both feminine and masculine energies to manifest. So I explained that, right? I explained it earlier. It's about... Um, it's about surrendering, right? And just allowing the information to come to you in meditation or in your dreams and asking for that information and surrendering and just being. Um, so that's how you, you, you balance them. The divine feminine, you surrender 
and you just allow yourself to receive the information. And then you balance the divine masculine by not overthinking about how you're going to manifest, um, but acting when you get the information from the uh, divine feminine. Okay. <laughs> this music makes me want to do Zumba. Yeah, that's a good sign. I would definitely recommend you guys uh, dance and do any type of exercise that resonates with you because uh, moving around and exercising is so, so, so important um, to ground the intense energy that's coming in. How to get specific with manifestations and can you manifest more than one at a time? Yes, you can. And um, to answer your other question, I, I gave a lot of tips on, on, about that and I'll add the, the the video at the end card of this video okay um is this the end i don't want to leave if you have more info <laughs> um i'm just gonna be answering questions for like five minutes or so what advice do you have for twin flames awakening um uh, my advice is to like focus on yourself right now and like just really really focus on yourself um and that will help your twin flame a lot how do you ask for info while surrendering? Uh, in meditation, how can I unblock my sacral chakra? That's a great question, Romina. We have a sacral chakra activation on YouTube, so you can go check that out. Um, Alexis asks, why can't I remember my dreams? I know I'm dreaming, but I don't remember them. Only sometimes through the day. Is there a blo blockage, anything I can do? So before you go to bed, just set the intention that you're going to remember your dreams. Um, if you why do I remember all my dreams? Is that normal for some people? Yeah, everyone's different uh, Oh much love Ali big hugs uh, Why can't I remember my dreams um, because uh, you're uh, probably your higher self just thinks it's a little bit overwhelming for you to know because we do a lot of stuff um, so the reason why we wake up tired sometimes is because we're doing work in the astral plane. So we're going out and doing a bunch of different things. And so maybe your higher self thinks it's overwhelming for you to know what you did. Lost Angel asked, how to get ready for December 21st? I'm freaking out. I won't be ready. So just watch this video again. Also, don't freak out. Like whenever, also whoever watches this like at a later time and it's already like December 17th, don't worry. Like whenever you're watching this, that's when you're meant to watch it. Okay. Just know that you're getting this information at the perfect time. Okay. Um, Jessica, that's a great question. Can opening your third eye be dangerous or scary? Yes, it can be dangerous because there's like, let's say you see a spirit um, who's pretending to be Archangel Michael um, and, it, and it looks like Archangel Michael, but it's not. It's really a shapeshifter pretending to be Archangel Michael. Then yes, it is dangerous. That's why I tell people, I, I created a video also, I need to post it on YouTube of why you should never open your third eye before you open your heart chakra. So I'll post that video up I'll post that video up um, soon. My right eye has been red for 48 hours. Is this possibly part of the transformation? Um, I, I have issues with my eyes around full moon. So whenever there's a full moon, I always get like... Um, like a pulsation or like you know like there it feels like there's something in my eye but for me it's my left eye um your right eye that represents your divine masculine so there's something in your divine masculine that needs to be balanced uh which chakra should be opened first i would recommend that um you like connect with yourself because we all have like our strongest chakra right every single person has one like super strong chakra and for everyone it's different um but i would recommend like so you ask yourself which one like you feel is your strongest and work with that one first but then i would also recommend your heart chakra because the heart chakra is like the main generator for all of your chakras okay um i'm just looking to see uh what did i write out oh okay um did you say you have a class on astral travel? Yeah, Craig. So I'll be teaching my astral projection class in March, probably. Um, yeah, probably in March. 
Okay. Um, so just a reminder, thank you guys so much for joining and remember to subscribe to be entered um, in the in the giveaway for this beautiful activated cor uh, black tourmaline pyramid. So we're gonna be giving one away. Um, so all you have to do is subscribe and comment and each comment um, is going to um, enter you. So you can comment as much as you want. So if I would recommend that everyone watch this again because I just shared so much information I mean, I'm even going to be watching it again. So just uh, really listen to this again so that it can really sink in. Uh, and thank you guys so much for sharing this time, sharing your energy and your time with me. I really appreciate it. And um, can we can we still take the alchemy class or wait for the new one? Yeah, you'll have to wait for the new one. It's going to be um, on. It's going to be in February, the next alchemy class. So keep an eye out for that. So. Thank you guys for sharing your time and your energy with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys have an incredible portal. Um, I hope you guys have a really, really powerful experience. And just know that whenever you're watching this, even if you're watching this after the eclipse, just know that you're watching it at the right time. Um, and really, I would recommend that you write down your dreams. A lot of information is going to be coming in your dreams, so just write them down. I would recommend that you are grounding, meditating, drinking lots of water, exercising every day leading up to this powerful event uh, because literally this is going to be super, super powerful. Um, also, I would recommend that you cut, oh, um, you avoid processed foods and sugars um, because of the act we're, we're all going to be receiving dna activations okay so it's not like part of it yes you have to be conscious about what's happening you have to work with it consciously but for a lot of humanity most people right like my parents my parents have no idea what what's gonna happen on December 21st. Like your parents probably don't know either, right? Or your siblings probably don't know, but they are still going to receive the activations, okay? Because this is happening to everyone. Um, I mean, all of this energy is coming into our planet, okay? So uh, just know that you're already going to be receiving the activations, but, but the more that you are prepared to receive the activations, um, the better experience you'll have and the more that you will be able to receive again really push your limits in terms of um, the life that you want to see for yourself in the next three five and ten years like just really push yourself because we're entering this new era um, with saturn saturn represents boundaries as well so boundaries are expanding right because jupiter represents expansion so the boundaries are expanding so really expand your boundaries over these next few days um, and really expand your boundaries as you are getting ready to manifest um, and really just manifest like from a childlike space you know as children we were always thinking of um of as children we were never like like limited limited right as children we were always thinking oh i'm going to ride on a unicorn and i'm going to you know we had these crazy imaginations as children so tap into that childlike imagination and wonder and it's from that space that your manifestations are really going to take a whole new um a whole new um a whole new level you know and that's what this whole shift is about it's about humanity rising to this new level of consciousness so i'll be talking um hopefully i'll be talking with a mayan calendar keeper um in guatemala so i'll be hosting another live on wednesday so uh you know write that down in your calendar um write that down in your calendar um that i'm going to be doing a live with uh next next wednesday at same time so i hope you guys uh, make it to that one as well it's going to be really awesome because we're going to be talking with an elder um so i just want to ask someone just said what's going to happen to people with prescription drugs during this time um 
So prescription drugs, I mean, even the COVID vaccine, um, it damages our DNA. Um, and I mean, they have already said that, <laughs> you know, which is so crazy. Like the, the manufacturers, Pfizer, uh, they said that it's going to uh, alter our DNA, not damage. They said it's going to alter it. So I would recommend that you bless uh, your prescription drugs, you know, and optimize them um, so that they have the best possible effect and don't have the side effects on you um so i hope that helps and just remember to keep drinking lots and lots of water and if you found this helpful please share this with your friends because again the more people that are able to see this the more that will sh like awaken humanity and the faster that this shift will happen uh so you know please share this with your friends um with your loved ones or anyone who's uh you think will resonate with this because it's really going to help a lot of people so so much gratitude to you guys thank you so much for joining lanai thank you victoria thank you Alexis, Julie, Lipsy, I really appreciate all of you guys being here and sharing this time with me. Oh, happy birthday for everyone having a birthday this month. Happy birthday. I hope you guys have an amazing start to your new year. Um, and really, we have three weeks left of 2020. There are 21 days of 2020. So make them your best years ever. Um, and really start off this new era, this 26,000 year old era that we're about to start. Really start it off on the right foot, okay? So dream big and be yourself and step into your power and embrace the unconditional love that you are. So much love to everyone, bye.